Hey y'all, I am on for another video this morning and this morning what I am going to be doing is um, going through the swatches that I've done of the bottled inks that I had recent, recently purchased from um, online pen company and coat pens. I did not, I uh, decided not to do a video with you all since my videos take so long. Uh, of the and me actually swatching them so what I done is went on ahead and I swatched each one of them out and I have them swatched here because they are bottles so they go into my swatch book but then I also have them swatched here because um, I have them on my color wheel and my color wheel contains both the uh, samples and bottles Okay, so I think what we will do is open this up first and then look at the swatches. This is Kukuyo, Kukuyo, Kukuyo um, paper. It is the paper that is used in um, Jabun Techo. <clears throat> up until last year when I bought purchased this book I actually thought that Jaboon Ticha used um, Tawai River paper as well but they don't so we're going to go back to the back and okay well let's start with Coronation then because we have Coronation right here so, uh, so I am I think I'm starting backwards yes so I can tell you all, for the most part, these performed beautifully as far as bleed through. Um, sometimes when I did the third pass on some of the lines, you could start seeing it coming through. Then also that has to do with the dig of your pen, the point of your pen, um, how um, deep you will press it. So this is Coronation, and I'll pull it up for you all diamond incarnation and this is actually from the flowers uh collection and then um this is the swatch on rolodex cards which is what i would call a normal paper um, thicker yes but um as far as any special things about the paper i don't think so And then this is my Rolodex here. And I'm not going to go through with these, but, you know, I'm going to just see where I match it up. Like right here, I can see that that goes here. Um, some of them I'll go through. And uh, things that I think they might match with, I'll, I'll compare those. But I won't be going through each one of them with you all. Because that will take long as well. And then this next one is Vivaldi. And I think they have it as a purple. Um, it looks more gray to me with purple undertone. But um, this is it here on the swatch. And I really liked that color. Um, and then also I will say that some of these wrote so uh lubricated like really smooth across the paper and i think i marked some of those but some of those i did not this is it on the rolodex card and this is so pretty to me i don't know if y'all can see that so pretty so i don't know if it's a purple or a gray but to me, it's a gray with purple undertones, and some people may say the opposite. Next one is Pansy, Diamond Pansy. This is another one from the uh, Flowers uh, collection. And there is a little bit of green sheen. I don't think I can catch it for y'all. But there is a little bit of green sheen there. And this is a pretty color purple. And I thought I had a purple that was close to it. And when I looked at my collection, I actually did not. I 
I'll look through the swatches again with you all, though. Show y'all that I do not. And I don't know what happened to my light, y'all. It's going away. Okay. Oh, this one is, huh? No? No, it's a different shade, but it's pretty. Mm. Mm. No. This one, I do have something. I'm going to leave it right here for right now because I'll come back and show y'all that when I get to it. This next one is Diamond Chopin or Chopin. Oh, and then now this one be that Vivaldi and Chopin and there's one other one. I don't, I haven't looked it up yet, but I think they're all a collection and I'm going to say maybe these are places or like artists, you know, like painters or something like that. I, I don't know. But they, you know, like they may be last names or famous somebody's. <laughs> Okay, so this is Chopin, and then here is the Chopin card. Let's go here, go up again so y'all can see it. And to me, it is a gray. And then this is it here. Much, um, well, the writing is it. The writing is like a gray, but the swatch is deeper. Um, and you might not be able to see that that's gray just by looking at it. Next to, this is the other one that I was telling you that I think is a part of that Chopin and Vivaldi. Uh, Shoskovsky, 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 that sounds like a name, maybe it's a place somewhere. In the world I'm not for sure but you can see it has some red um, sheen to it um, and it's a pretty color I do like it um, it's not just something that I would just say oh this is so pretty 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 but it is pretty and uh, I wasn't mad at it at all and happy to have it because it is a part of a collection so you know and it's, I like it better here. Look at that. It's very pretty. And it's better than a regular blue ink. So, it's for its color. And then this one is Diamond Deep Dark Blue. And you can see some of that red sheen that's coming off of it. It is truly a deep blue. I would call this a navy, kind of. Not blue-black. I think I would call it a navy. Uh, let's look at the back here. See that? You see how dark that is? But we didn't have an any bleed through at all? That is absolutely crazy to me. So, very... Uh, yeah. Diamond hit it, hit it out the park with these, I think. And this is the card. Very pretty blue, y'all. Very pretty blue. And even on this card, you can see some red here. You can see red here. Uh, I think I see a little bit of red in the diamond, but not in the rest of the writing. Very pretty. Very pretty. Oh, and I've made note that this bottle, bottle was Nootler's Fool. Because for some reason, this this one, none of the other bottles, and I have tons of um, 30 ml bottles of diamine. They're not filled, but this one was filled to the top. And it shocked me when I opened it because I got a little nervous and I started being careful after I opened some of the other ones. And then this is diamine Florida Blue. And actually, I thought this was close to Kanpeki. But it's not. So, but it, it, it is it's a pretty color. And then this is Diamine Presidential Blue. And let me get the Florida Blue first. The 
this is the Florida blue. And then this is the presidential blue. Okay. the blue and the presidential blue and then let's see and see you have it where I colored in but other than that those two three or four passes that's where you see the bleed through and you don't do that much when you're writing so this one has no bleed through a little bit here on that one Let's see what those colors are now. Ah, so this is Diamond Sunset. It's a very pretty orange. And this is it here. It does not have a lot of shading. Very pretty. True orange. And then this is Diamond Lavender. Lavender is not lavender to me at all. It's a purple, but that's what they call it. So that be what it be. <laughs> and then this is the lavender here. And then if I look here, it looks like, yeah, it's a little similar to um, this one. This one has a little bit hint more of something else in it. And this one has a green sheen. I don't see any sheen on this one at all. Um, so, yeah. So, that one I know can go right there. Because it's very close to it. Okay, this is Diamond Crimson. And... To note on that one, I think here, yes. If you look at this, these two, this is Diamond Oxblood. This is Writer's Blood. Writer's Blood is more burgundy, has more purple. These two have more brown to me, but they are very similar in color. I haven't looked at the cards against each other yet, but I wanted to wait. Uh, um, when I got on with you all to see actually this one looks like it has a little bit more brown now that I'm looking at it and I did say that this one was lighter than this one so okay so anyway this is Diamond Oxford and this is Diamond Crimson and then here is the card and let's find the card in here compare it Mm -hmm. hmm. Even that one, the Syrah. Okay. Okay. So this is the Diamond Crimson. This is Syrah. Syrah has a little bit more red to it. This is Diamond 150th Anniversary Burgundy Royal. And I did say this one was like a... Um, Sorry, I don't know if it's still recording. I hope so. I got a phone call. I did say this one was like Oxblood. And it's deeper. Much deeper than this one. And then this is Diamond Oxblood. Let's see. And yeah, I think this one is a hair lighter. So yeah, okay. All four together. Okay. 
this is all four together. And you can see they're very similar. Okay, let's see it again. Then let's do this is Diamond Cerise. is here this is diamond hope pink which is here for these two I felt like one of them was close to Mutler's Bay State Cape Cod Cranberry, I think that's the name of it. And when I actually looked to pull that, that swatch, this is it. And then this is the whole pink. And I feel like this one actually falls in between the two. I can have a hint of both, just a perfect amount of both. So I feel like it falls in between the two. I do like the cranberry, the Cape Cod cranberry, but it's it's harsh. It's a strong ink. It does feather quite a bit. Uh, it um, it is um, water resistant, so I like it because of that. I have not purchased a bottle of it because of how harsh it is on your papers. And then this is Diamond Claret. Pull that up. Uh oh. I'll probably focus on it. Um, and then for my diamond claret, I can tell you I have so many of these types of shades of colors. Um, maybe not. Maybe I lied. Mm -hmm. Now I have so much of these types of shades. Okay, so this one is more of a berry. Now that I look at them. Yes, this one is more of a berry. Okay. So I don't really have too much of anything. Okay. Um, maybe... Still feel like that undertone is just a bit different. I'm gonna leave it here for right now though. Maybe I'll switch it up later. And I think, oh, and then the diamond gray, which I did show you all that one in a previous uh, one. I got fingerprints all over it, so that's why it um, looks like that. But I love this one. I did get this bottle. But I ended up purchasing two. I didn't know I had got one from an, another shop. And I showed y'all this one in one of the other hauls. Um, one other thing I wanted to note. Because I, I, I did note this one. The Mon Monbotus hat. I think I thought it was similar to this one. So... I don't know if y'all can see that. I think they're similar. And then this American DC, American Blue, Private Reserve American Blue, was similar to, um, was it Florida Blue, I believe? Yes. Florida blue. Can y'all see that? Similar to Florida blue. I think this one is brighter and deeper. And then my last one, this Susuchi. I said maybe Claret. Y'all can see that.
that is it, y'all. Have a good one. Bye-bye.